Hey guys, it's Friday, and today I'm gonna be streaming Pokemon Ultra Moon, which I haven't picked up yet, so I need to go do that. I'm running a bit late, even though I woke up an hour early, so I could go get the game. Yeah, Kiki, what are you doing? There's two Kikis, oh my. <laughs> I'm getting such a kick out of that. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I woke up an hour earlier than usual. I was like, okay, that should give me enough time. Well, no, the vlog took me twice as long to edit as usual because I had so much footage and there was all that doll stuff. It was, bruh. And then I also had videos going up on all three channels, like the vlog, Doodle Domain, and Bailey J. So I had to make sure those were all good to go and be replying to comments, make the social media posts for those. And so I was like, this is taking forever. So yeah, I pushed the stream back by an hour. Still need to hurry though. I'm also going to run to Timmy's while I'm out. Might as well. And I need to pick up more of that French vanilla stuff they sell because I'm totally out. And then, of course, I'll pick up an actual French vanilla from Timmy's as well. Ooh, I could grab some food while I'm at Timmy's. I mean, lately I've been not eating till the stream is over, but if I'm going all the way to Timmy's and I'm streaming late, I'm going to need something. Bacon biscuit sandwich? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to quickly run out for this stuff and then... I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so, <laughs> got my bacon biscuit, and then I got three of these. <laughs> I was going to get two, but they had a promotion where if you bought three take-home things, you would get a $10 gift card, and these don't even cost $10, so I'm pretty much getting the third one free, plus a bit of extra cash on top of that, so I was like, heck yeah, I am stocked. These actually don't last that long because they're kind of small, and I used two heaping big spoons in each drink, so I actually go through it pretty fast. So I'm now realizing my 3DS capture card is not here. It's not at my desk. Where is it? Huh. I know where my other DS is. It's upstairs by the bed. Oh God, it's right out here. Oh, what are you doing out here? Oh. Okay, it's all set up. Good to go, I just need to open this up. Oh ha, but I'm gonna start the stream first. What you doing there, baby? She did that twice now. <laughs> You're gonna keep putting your head back in there. So the stream is now done. I streamed until three instead of two because I started an hour late. I was kind of falling asleep, not gonna lie. I think it's because Pokemon is so much more mellow than Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey demands more of my attention and it's so adrenaline filled. There's so many butt clenching moments in that game, whereas in Pokemon it's so lax and the music's peaceful. So I was like yawning and stuff. And also, I'm not too thrilled with Ultra Moon so far. Like I'm sure it'll get better based on the things I've seen in the trailers, but so far it's just like the other games. There are some differences already, but like, a lot of it is the same story and like same sequence of events as the regular sun and moon and so i'm just like hey i've already played this like get me through this because i normally don't replay my pokemon games unless i'm doing a nuzlocke or something i will stick with the same file i'll just keep filling my decks loving up my leveling up my pokemon maybe you'd go to like a battle building like there's different things in each game you can do there's usually some kind of battle tree battle whatever anyway there's just there's things to do i normally don't restart files and right now it feels like i've just restarted a file and it's just holding my hand through the game explaining the basics of pokemon and i'm like i know all this already and like i feel like because it, it's not a sequel it's kind of like a remake of sun and moon like i feel like it still counts as a sequel though in the sense that like you can assume people have played the first one i don't know i just feel like Oh, it's just kind of annoying in that sense. I'm like, okay, hey, can we get to like the interesting parts or the new parts? Like this is like, it's just more the same so far. So I'm like, uh, okay. If it was a true sequel, like a continuation of the story, I think that would've been more interesting, but it's literally just a retelling of the same story. They've just changed things or added things. And so um, it's so far, it's, it feels repetitive, so. Not thrilled yet, but I'm sure it'll get better based on things I've seen. So there's a bit of a change of plans. I thought it was just one of our friends coming over because like there's this couple we know and I thought it was just the guy coming over to hang out with Christian. It turns out the other person's coming too. So I'm like, yay, but I'm going to do a bit more cleaning just to I don't know, tidy up a little bit more. My dolls are still sitting upstairs, so I have to find a spot for that. Our recycling did get picked up today because 
collection was missed so I had to phone them this morning so they could come pick it up and it did get collected so I can refill it with the remainder of our recycling <laughs> and yeah that's probably pretty much it maybe put away a few things that are still lying around in the laundry room just general tidying and then we'll hang out with our friends I also still have to vacuum the rug down here because when I vacuumed the house yesterday the battery died before I could get to the rug so we're gonna do that Okay, it's now Saturday late afternoon. I figured I would just combine days a little bit, I guess. Yesterday was nice. Our friends came over, we had some pizza, hung out, and they didn't actually stay too long. And they went home, and then we actually went out to a restaurant with some other friends and had some drinks and stuff. And then five of us came back here, just hang out a little longer, and it was a really good time. And we might actually be going out again tonight. <laughs> I'm not sure what the plans are. But I've been doing some cleaning and reorganizing. I moved my desk thingy over there and I moved the bookshelf over there and you know what was behind this bookshelf when it was here? A paintbrush of mine that I've been missing for months. It's one of my go-to paintbrushes and it's just been missing. I found it. It was covered in spider webs and bug carcasses but I cleaned it off so we're good to go now. Oof. But yeah this room's kind of all in limbo. Well all the rooms are in limbo. <laughs> I've also been going through stuff in here. I've been reorganizing the shelves because I want pretty much everything I have to be able to fit on my shelves. The exception being the Disney dolls because they don't fit, but I kind of want these to go in my other room. I'm just kind of reorganizing the stuff in here. Like those dolls were over here. I added more Tsum Tsums here. I'm going to put more down here, but I have to clear off that first. So I've kind of been trying to organize. I've been going through these shelves too, going through my plushies, going through stuff that was in these drawers. This closet probably looks a lot more empty since you last saw it. A lot of what's in here is lids for all my dolls. Whom, <laughs> whom, and cases for breakable stuff. My buttons. My SpongeBob stuff that I still haven't opened. I really want to keep those, but I don't know where I'm going to put them. Like, they could go on top of these things, but at the same time, this room's going to eventually get converted into the spare bedroom. You know, I'm just thinking ahead to when we have kids. Not pregnant, not trying. Just saying that. Not pregnant, not trying. But I'm just thinking ahead. I wouldn't mind pushing these shelves over on this wall or they could even go out there. Something, I don't know, because the bed would probably have to go right here. Anyway, it's tricky because there's things I do want to display, like all my Calico Critter stuff. I kind of want to have it displayed because to me it's kind of like dollhouse miniatures except not handmade. <laughs> and so I kind of want to have my own little display for these. I have a little bit of stuff here. I mean, it's not supposed to be here and there. There's this. I just set those there. But I have other Calico Critter stuff I haven't opened. But then I gathered together all the stuff that I decided I'm going to donate, and there is a lot here. Look at all this. So we're actually going to take this to the mall tonight because I found out there's a place that just opened a couple days ago that's accepting toys. They do toy drives all the time, and they have a seasonal location in the mall, I guess. So we're going to bring this there. Lots and lots of stuff. Some days it's really hard for me to get rid of stuff because I'm just feeling extra attachment to my things that day. But I feel like today's one of those days where I'm like, no, it's gone. Bye. <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> I still have more stuff to go through. I haven't even gone through everything. But yeah, at least the stuff for the toy drive has to be unopened stuff. So we can drop all that off because that's all my unopened stuff. So just a little update. We did not end up going out other than to drop off the donations. But... I've been trying to get this place organized and open up stuff that I had not yet opened up. So I have most of the Calico Critter stuff opened, except for a couple family things down here. But it's getting late and I need to go to bed soon. But this thing is stuffed because these furniture things were so big. I ended up making this the master bedroom, even though this previously was. This was kind of like a side room slash kids room. And then this is supposed to be the bathroom, I think but there were a lot of big pieces of furniture for the bedroom so I just made both the bedroom and then this is the bathroom over here. And then there's the living room down there which is very cramped because there's the piano that the house came with but did not come with the living room set. And then there's this which was in one of the upstairs rooms. And then there's the kitchen. The house did come with some kitchen stuff so there's two stoves. There's one back there and one here. I might just remove one entirely, I'm not sure. The other table is over here. This one's not even a calico critter one. That's from a SpongeBob toy, but that can be a lawn chair if it'll stay up. And then there's a little boutique which I set up. So cute. But man, 
There are so many little pieces and it's easy to knock them over. I'm thinking I might glue everything into place because it's not like I'm going to be playing with it. It's just for looks like this table. I could glue on the lace and then glue all the pieces down, but that's a project for another day. Other than that, the room is really transforming. As you can see, I moved these. They're now over here. The table that was in the corner is folded up. All the stuff is out from in there. The storage shelf is gone. It's moved upstairs and it's now in the spare bedroom holding pillows and blankets. I still need to finish organizing these shelves, but that's as far as I've gotten. These are all empty, but I'm keeping them for wrapping Christmas presents. Although this is only good for stuff that I'm leaving here in Vancouver because for any gifts I'm bringing on an airplane, I have to have them unwrapped in the suitcase, otherwise they won't all fit. I had a second one of these in here. It's now in my art room. I moved this dresser back over here and then put this here. And I filled in the gaps in here a little bit more. So I have dolls up here and then all this storage down here. Whoa, it's not even all full yet. There's so many possibilities, Kiki. This has changed a little bit with what's on the shelf and I pushed this over completely to the side and that stuff's all on that side now. Other than that, this hasn't changed much. I'm really liking it actually, even though that white furniture doesn't really match with the rest, but it's all kind of mismatched anyway. Initially I was trying to keep it all dark, like that's dark, the desk is dark, this is dark. But then once this was introduced, it was kind of like, meh, it's not gonna match anyway. So that's the state of things, but I'm gonna go to bed because it's getting late. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. The only thing about these big boxes is they do feel a bit empty and they take up a lot of space, but you can see the dolls a lot better compared to some of the older ones. Next. Oh. 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 <laughs> there was one doll set included in this that was actually sold separately exclusively at 